All right, Jaron, spring practice uh, number one in the books. How'd it go? It was great. I mean, a little rusty, obviously, a couple months off, but it was a good time just to get back out with the team, get rolling again, and pick up where we left off. How are you managing this uh, incredible kind of Deion Sanders, uh, Kyler Murray experience that you're having with baseball and football? I mean, just taking it a couple hours at a time. You know, when I'm at school, I'm at school. And then when I'm at baseball, I'm there at baseball and, and then make my way to football. So just kind of piecing up the day and not letting myself get overwhelmed with all the, the tasks at hand and just, just loving it. That's how I get through it. If I love it, then, you know, the sacrifice is worth it. So, Do you love both sports or do you love one more than the other? I love them both. I do. If you ask me, I couldn't decide now. And I'm in love with them both. And you're a redshirt freshman, so you have some time, right? Got a little bit of time, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Mike Littlewood speaks uh, volumes about your uh, your baseball game, and then here you are out here as kind of the competing for the number one spot with Zach out, uh, at least in spring. Um, how do you balance those two? Because you're needed at a high level in both. Yeah. I mean, like I said, just, just taking it a little bit at a time. Um, obviously, during the month of March with spring ball, I'll be uh, putting most of my time there um, just due to the circumstances. You know, Zach being inju injured, unfortunately. Um, but I'll be able to bounce over to baseball, you know, after football practice is over here and just kind of be where I can when I can. Are you in football shape playing baseball, or are you in baseball shape playing football? Yeah, I'm in uh, football shape playing baseball. I'm, I don't know. I feel like baseball players are in pretty good shape, so it could be yeah. it could be the same. But I say I've, I'm definitely in football shape. They don't all look like this, though. Let's be honest. <laughs> no, no, they don't. They, <laughs> gave, they gave me a medium jersey, though, so that's, that might be why. <laughs> Do you need a small to I accentuate? A, a large. Oh, you need a large. large okay. but, yeah. 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 Tell us what it's like after last year, because you played in four games, I believe, so you got your red shirt. Um, yet now you're able to uh, kind of pass the ball and, and flex out a little more in this offense. What, what was that like today? It was great, you know, just to air the ball out again, let my arm get going. You know, I still feel like I haven't peaked yet. My arm strength, obviously, coming home from my mission just, you know, nine and a half, ten months ago. So still getting that back out. So it's, it's nice to start throwing the ball a lot. I'm just contributing where I can and just getting better. How was Roseville, California? I loved it. The people out there are great. Shout out to my Roseville family. I loved it. <laughs> I've got a friend that lives in Roseville, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. I asked him if he knew you. He was like, oh, I didn't know Elder Hall. But, yeah, there we go. Uh, tell us about kind of your experience with BYU football growing up. Obviously, your dad, Kalen, and your brother, uh, KJ, played here. And now it's your time. So, I guess you've waited a long time to kind of walk in their foots. Yeah, for sure. I mean, growing up in, in Provo here and living just south in Mapleton and Spanish Fork all my life, I've loved BYU football with my dad. I play football, my mom being a gymnast. It's, you know, blue has been the blood at all times. And so just to have the opportunity now to, to make my, my own legacy, my own path here, it's, it's a blessing. I'm just excited to be here. Were you always going to be a quarterback growing up? Because dad and brother were running back. Yeah, yeah, I was. And I, I think that's the reason I am a quarterback, because looking at my dad and KJ and the beatings they've gone through, <laughs> you know, I think they realize quarterback, there's a little more longevity there. It's a longer career, so I've always been a quarterback. We saw you run a few times. I don't think we saw you throw a pass, right? No, I don't believe so. Okay, no. so describe what kind of quarterback you are. Um, I say I'm a, I'm a well-balanced quarterback, you know, pocket passer first. I can throw the ball, and then when I need to, I can extend plays with my legs. What does the football team expect from you in terms of uh, the time you spend with football versus baseball? Because I know both coaches are in league, and this was always the plan, right? Absolutely, yeah, it was. You know, there's a great understanding between Coach Littlewood and Coach Sataki with where I spend my time. Obviously, with this month of um, spring football going on, I'm spending most of my time with football, and Coach Littlewood's you know, absolutely okay with it. And then, you know, a month before this, I was traveling with the baseball team every week and spending most of my time there, and Coach Sataki was good with that. So just wherever I'm needed the most of the time, that's, that's where I'll be. You were in Beaumont, Texas on Saturday, and now you're practicing in football on a football Monday, Football right? Provo, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, describe to us what this experience could mean for you because no one wants to see Zach Wilson out, but it's an opportunity for other guys to get more reps. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a chance for everyone to, to get better, to learn the offense. And Zach's still out here with us, you know, thankfully teaching us up and helping us where he can because obviously he knows the offense as well as anybody. So it's, it's great to have him out here and we're just hoping he gets back soon. But you know, it's a great time for us to learn and to, to get better and just to find our, our part in this team. Second spring ball for Jeff Grimes. So how was this one maybe started differently than last year? So I actually wasn't here uh, last year for spring ball. You were on your mission. That's mission, right. Okay. So, I couldn't so you have no clue. You're like, I was knocking doors. Yeah, exactly. Well, thanks for the time, and uh, we look forward to much more from you. Appreciate it, John. Thank thanks, you. Jared.